Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. I am the Appleton Oak and this is part four of my Hogwarts legacy journey. Uh, just gonna get some housekeeping things underway, some feedback and recommendations we had from our previous episode. First and foremost, thank you for everybody for joining in, not just here on my Hogwarts, Hogwarts legacy journey, but everyone that's followed along on our Bad Medicine Reaction channel and now following along on Bad Medicine Arcade. So, takeaway from episode three. First and foremost, I think, is the positioning of where you guys are seeing me. Um, work with Diamond Dave, we should have that switched. If you're watching this, it should no longer be where it was on the left there. So I know we're still working out um, best, uh, best positions here that's gonna help uh, you guys see me the best, but also not intrude. Um, on the screen too much. So had a lot of really good recommendations. So you're gonna be seeing that that is different this time around. Ravelio the ding lets me know that there are field guide pages that I did not know before. I was doing lots of Ravelio. People said do even more Ravelio. And also the chests. Before I was seeing the chests, I didn't know that in my upper right, it's gonna let me know what I all have. Now I did see a bunch of recommendations to sell off gear. I'm assuming I have to go back to Hogsmeade for that. I didn't see any comments on exactly where or how to do that. But again, I'm guessing that I go to Hogsmeade to that one shop. But everybody said sell off gear. Um, if you did catch later on in the episode, um, I did figure out how to change my appearance. But thank you to everybody who commented early on in the episode about how to change my appearance. Even if I had all my gear on, that kind of gave me the most power. Um, but so a lot of great recommendations. Also, thank you for those letting me know that if I get the red circle around me, it means I have to dodge out of the way and that a Protego won't work. The circle on the floor means that somebody is about to land on me. Um, so many great pieces of advice. The RB, uh, letting me know that I can throw things at people. The advice where if I do an Accio and then Incendio, I can do the damage that I wouldn't be able to do normally with Incendio because of the distance. So. Not sure how much of the actual dueling or fighting advice I'm gonna be able to get into today. But that being said, I'm sure all the other advice is gonna help. So that is the, the bulk of it. Thank you to everyone who commented. Try to get through all the comments, but you guys have been so great. And uh, we're gonna get started once again. This is part four, so let's go. All right, we are gonna do quick resume. And I am going to pick up where I left off, the Appleton, Appleton Oak, not the Appleton Oak. All right. Solve Merlin's Trial. This is where we left off. All righty. All right. What are we going to get We're here? How do I solve Merlin's trial? Let's go over here. I might have to talk to her again. It has been a minute. Oh boy. Accio? Accio. No. I am not sure how to solve Merlin's trial. Rebellion. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Maybe that wasn't the best spot to leave off because now I'm curious as to how to solve his trial. Miss Treadwell instructed me to place Malasweet onto these stone swirls, and the strangest thing happened. I wonder what Merlin could have been hiding behind these puzzles. Okay. All right, so how do I place the mallow? Rebellion. Sweet. Incendio. Oh, don't want to do incendio. All right. Bear with me here, people. Uh, again, I am just picking up from where I left off last time, so... Okay, nope, that 
I don't need. Revelio. Oh boy. I completely forgot what I have to do over here. Oh, what's this? I got some leech juice. Some leech juice. <laughs> Not sure what to do with that. Alright. Maybe I need to place more... Um, well, let's take a look here. Uh, okay, these are spells. That's my gear. Um, inventory. Sort alphabetically. Okay. Leech juice. What do I got here? Mallow sweet leaves. Um, mal I used to open. Okay, so I got some of these. So how do I, what are my collections here? Let's take a look here. Ingredients you have collected. Leech juice. Okay. Okay. So I'm curious as to how I place stuff here. Rebellion. Um, uh, take um, that's definitely not it. Um, okay. Okay, this is all just spells. Revelio. That's Revelio. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to figure this out. Um, I don't know what what buttons to press to leave this down here. Um. Okay, so there's. These three things. Is there a fourth one over here? I'm just gonna run around here for a minute, see if there's something I'm missing. Blow up this barrel while I'm at it. <laughs> okay, so this is where Oak starts to get a little frustrated. Oh, there's a chest over here. Well, that's fun. I can collect stuff, but I still have to solve Merlin's trials. Oh, probably don't want to. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. I didn't get hurt there. All right, well, there's all sorts of chests, and wow, there's a ton of stuff over here. Rebellion. Lives here. Desert Nomad Scarf. How do I take it? Uh. Looks like there's a chest up over here somewhere. I'm just going to run around and look for these chests here. Since then, I eventually, I gotta go back and solve that Merlin's Mama. thing. Archie, I don't have time to argue. I've told you repeatedly not to stray far from home, especially when I'm inside with your little sister. Where are their chests? Okay. A blue checkerboard. Oh, that's enough. I'm too tired for your story. Okay, got a checkerboard. Right not sure what I'm gonna do with that, but. Why don't you do some more what does this guy got? Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Um. Many rumors going about? going about the town? A goblin called Pergit is causing a bit of a stink. 
His gang is attacking traveling vendors, and now business is suffering everywhere. Uh, it would be nice if someone would do something about it. No one wants to pick a fight with a band of goblins, though. I do. Which means he's free to do what he I wants. I will absolutely pick ruins. a fight. Oh. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I don't think I need anything. Increases the drinker's spell damage for a limited amount of time. Well, that's interesting. I only got 66 coins, though. I think I'm shit out of luck. <laughs> Where is this chest? Right. God, there's a lot over here. There should be a chest right here, right? Oh, level one lock. All right, sooner or later, I'm going to have to go down and figure this Merlin thing out. What is this, X? Uh, did I just chop wood? All right, that's pretty dandy. There should be a chest right here. All right. It's getting dark outside. I better go figure this Merlin's thing out. Solve Merlin's trial. This is gonna. This is where you start seeing oak get pretty colorful because I don't remember what to do and I don't remember how to use my inventory. Like I see that I have it, but. I don't know how to use it. See what I'm saying, y'all? Quests, one assignment. Trials of Merlin. Mrs. Treadwell instructed me to place Malasweet onto these stone swirls and the strangest thing happened. Required level, four. Does that mean I'm not at the required level? I don't know what level I'm at. How do I know what level I am? Oh, right there. I'm level eight. Okay. So I should be able to solve it. No problem. Wand handles. What's this now? Well, that's pretty cool. Why not? All right. So I am level eight. Oh. Okay, um, that doesn't Rebellion. do anything. That's Revelio. Up doesn't do anything. That lets me adjust my spells. Uh, that doesn't Protego. roll. That's Protego. Oh, Jesus. For those of you who had played the game, how many of you are screaming right now for what I need to be doing? Okay, what does this do? This is just my map. So I don't need that. Okay. I just Rebellion. targeted it. I didn't know what that is. Okay, I do not know what to do here. I honestly have no idea what to do here and I am starting to get real frustrated this might not have been a good place to i might just bail on this because this is starting to really piss me off if i'm being honest you guys haven't seen this frustrated side of me but i left off before the last recording she won't let me talk to her again all right let's see if i can pull miss treadwell instructed me to place malasquite on these I wonder what Merlin could be hiding. I think I already placed Rebellion. the Malo Suite last time, didn't I? 
I don't know how to solve the trial. Okay. You're already at your destination. Okay, going invisible didn't help anything. Incendio. The flames make the pyre sink. Oh. Now I'm on to something. Look at that. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. Incendio. Clearly, all three of these pyres are meant to be lit. I gotta light them all at once. It seems the pyres sink if you don't light the others quickly enough. Oh, thank you for letting me notice. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's getting a little, get a little worked up there, folks. A little worked up. Okay, be honest. How many were yelling? I didn't know what they were. I was just gonna run around and like be frustrated. Oh. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow seed, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Excuse me. All right, so here's what I'm going to do next. I am actually going... Oh, new quest available. Ooh, who's this? I want to go to Hogsmeade, but it says new quest available, and this guy has a thing above his head, so. Uh oh, too deep in water. I better get up on the. earlier on the dock. What does this guy got going on? Oh. Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the bar, Pinch Smedley's? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never uh, have forgiven myself. Uh, you see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Uh, this sounds pretty sketchy. Uh, so this is what I want to say. Diving into the lake doesn't sound too appealing, but in the interest of adventure... <laughs> And trying to be a good helper. Uh, an underwater adventure sounds, sounds like sounds fun. Like adventure. Why me. not? Splendid. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. 
<laughs> what? They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Uh... Okay, wouldn't their skeletons be down there? <laughs> what? Uh, we're going to start with what is an astrolabe. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. Astrolabe, huh? For studying the stars. Interesting. Astronomical pursuits. But it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. <sighs> Should I know who your family you are? I think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or oh. grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Um, well, it doesn't even give me an option other than I'll think about it. I don't get a hell yeah, let's, let's go option. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Uh -huh. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. <laughs> I guess we're swimming. Am I supposed to be changing outfits for this? I feel like... Cotton grass, dug bog. Uh, okay, red means bad. I remember somebody saying red on the map means bad. Uh, am I supposed to be fighting that thing? In the water? Oh, I can't cast any spells in the water. All right, we're watching out for that thing. Oh, uh, where did my map go? Uh. Uh. Uh, dueling feats. Okay, now I'm supposed to fight this thing? Oh, great. Yep, my quest went away. And, uh, all I'm left with is this thing. I guess I'm getting in a water fight here. Uh, okay. How do I do anything in the water? Uh, this is not good. Jesus Christ! Okay, uh, I don't know how to fight this thing in the water. It won't let me cast any spells, so I'm gonna swim the hell away. That's what I'm doing. Just swimming away from that. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Alright, 
What's this? I got a school uniform. That's what I got. Is a school uniform. Oh, look at that. I got the astrolabe. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. What's this over here? on an elegant blazer. Why are all these <laughs> uniforms in the water? A golden silk robe? There's a lot in the water, isn't there? Oh, this is a fun little swim. A twilight cloak? Why is there so many articles of clothing in the water? All right, well, look at this. I did my good deed for the day. Oh, I wonder if I can battle that thing. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, I have an idea. You just relax for a second there, Grace. I have an idea. Okay, so when you wade too deep. Ha! Let me Dude, let's go. So do I gotta lure it in? Is that what the idea is? Oh, I gotta accio it a few times. Levitated by its tongue. I'm not just supposed to... How do I get it in? I think I gotta lure this thing in. Come on, buddy. Oh, no, it's swimming away. Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh. Oh. I don't know how to levitate it. I don't want to. I don't know how to. <sighs> how do I get this thing? Maybe if I. 
No, that's not what I meant to do. Can it see me if I'm invisible? Oh, apparently it can. Trying to figure out how to get this thing to come at me. Oh! Oh! Oh, it goes. Oh, god dang it. I don't know how to levitate it by its tongue. Accio. I don't think any other. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Accio. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. That wasn't the goal. I was going to try to levitate it. I didn't know I was supposed to just destroy it. What do we got here? Anyhow. <laughs> I just like... Why is all this stuff in the lake? Kids out on their boats, like, tossing their clothes off? Is this like some Camp Crystal Lake type stuff? <laughs> Teenagers from Hogwarts ditching their clothes in the lake. What's going on? Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black <coughs> Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? <laughs> Look at these answers. I did, and it's yours for a price, and I'm keeping it. Uh, I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me and for my family. You're welcome. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts I of things did. down there. Thank you again. All right, and so I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. All right. Mermaid mask. All right. Plus 180. All right, so next thing I'm going to do, unless I get sidetracked again, is I am going to set a course to Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade map. Um, sporting needs. Potions. Produce. Fertilizer. A pub, unsavory patrons, no. Uh, bookshop, not Ollivanders. Latest and greatest and beast byproducts. Tea shop, nope. Central and Hogsmeade Square. Variety of brooms. Where is the place for the? Central Square. Fudge. Tea shop. Okay, where did I go? The the shop that had the the Okay, am I crazy or what? Is it up here? What? Okay. What is going on here? A bookshop? Patrons? Ollivanders? South Hogsmeade? Sporting a shop for booms? A pub? F joke shop? Hairstyles? 
Wizard wear. That's where I want to go. Jeez, I saw that. It looked like a teacup, so that's why I, I thought it was for tea. So, all right, that's where we are going to go. Is we are going to go there because one of the biggest things that everybody had recommended was to sell off my stuff that I wasn't using and to try to get better gear. And that as I moved forward in my battles and duels, I would be. If I'm not careful. Oh, am I supposed to go after dark? Ugh. You know what? Look at me. Look at me. Just breaking all the rules. Going to Hogsmeade after dark by myself. But I want to go see if I can trade some stuff. In fact, that's a couple of people have said that the last few um, parts. So I don't want to just keep ignoring that. And I feel like as I get further into my duels and stuff, I am going to need that. That didn't sound good. Shouldn't be too far of a journey to get there. Or maybe not. 950. Oh. What? Okay, this might have been a bad idea. This is definitely one where I should have used the flu powder. Okay. Well. What's this right here? Rebellion. Can I pick that up? Oh, more moonstone. Okay, tell me there's some place that has flu powder along the way. Cause this seems like an awfully long, an awfully long run. Or I could take this time to tell some stories. I could do that. So if you are new-ish to um, the channel or newish to uh, just our story in general, we went uh, almost two years ago now, watched all the Potter movies as part of a poll, poll winner. Oh, this is here we go. Let's try this. I don't even know how to use, if I'm being honest, I don't know how to use these. Um, the flu powder, exactly. Right. Is this Hogsmeade? I thought there was a flu powder. Here, how about right here? Did I do it right? Did I do it right? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, well, that just saved myself. A, I'm still going to set a waypoint to... Uh, okay. So what I was going to say is a poll winner came up and we started all eight Potter movies. And uh, for the first two, those of you who watched know that I was super skeptical, thought they were kids movies. Um, Prisoner of Azkaban piqued my curiosity, Goblet of Fire. I'm like, oh, this is really relatable. And then I was completely hooked after um, Order of the Phoenix. No touching. And by the end, I was a total Potterhead. Started audiobooks, which we will finish. Today. Take your time. Okay, how do I sell, though? Preview gear. Uh. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. What is this? Sell items. Offense. Should I sell my school robe? Offense. Oh, my defense is good. Hmm. 
This makes my offense go down by three? What? Oh god. I'm gonna sell my cap. I ain't gonna wear this thing. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Uh, no magical properties. We'll sell that. Sell that. Okay, that makes my defense go up by 16. Offense up by 16. School robe. Can I sell my school robe? Sure, why not? I'm going to get rid of this. Look at this. Offense up by 15. Echo's offense is 16. Defense up by 16. Offense up by 11, by 12. Okay. Defense down. We'll get rid of that thing. I'm not going to wear the glasses. We'll get rid of those. No magical properties. Get rid of it. School robe. Get rid of it. Offense, 16, up by 16. Defense up by 11, defense up by 12. Okay, well, if that gold is offense up by 12, and this is offense up by 15, wouldn't it make sense I can only wear one robe at a time? Silk robe, cloak, get rid of that. All right, so my cloak, can I wear a blazer, a cloak over a blazer? I think I can. Look at that. Buy, sell. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Okay, well, how do I sell more stuff? I still got this hat on. Plenty okay. for your perusal today. Take your time. Purchase. Sell items. Okay, can I only... Can I not sell the items I'm wearing? Okay, I so we're going to try fashion. something once. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Okay, how do I change? I forget how to change my outfit. Okay, we'll go like this. Gear. Handwear. Okay, facewear, headwear. I have this defense up by 12. Did I sell that? Okay. What do I have? Neckwear. Offense up by 16. Offense up by 16. Okay. Desert Nomad scarf. Do I have two scarves? Cloaks and robes. I'm guessing you can only wear one of these. Twilight cloak, offense. I'm gonna put this one on, obviously. Offense is up by eight. Offense is a 15. I'm gonna wear that one. A, equip. Okay. All right, so we want that one. Oh, look at this. Okay, so I got my best. Okay, so I got my best cloak on. Try these outfits. That's going to make me go up by 16. I'm going to put that on. Back. Neckwear. Okay, so it's a wash. Headwear, okay, so I'm just getting this figured out. All right, so headwear, I've got my best outfit on. It's gonna make me go down. I've got my best neckwear on. 
neckwear is a wash, cloaks and robes. I'm just double and triple checking this. That's going to make me go down. Okay. Oh, no. Here's what I'm going to do again. And then I go... Um, what was the appearance? How did I do... A change appearance was X. But does that mean... I like having that. But is it, do I still have the one on that? Yeah, that's the one I'm wearing. Okay. Okay, so I'm just making sure that I'm not like messing it up. Headwear. Um, headwear X, change appearance. So what other appearance can I have for headwear? Okay, invisible. I like my hair. Neck wear. This is what I want, but neck wear, change appearance, and have it appear as if I'm not wearing a neck wear. Okay, but now I, if I go back, can I sell this dude more stuff? What's in his bag? Plenty for your perusal today. Can Take I sell time. more stuff? Uh, I can sell that. 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 All right, now we're talking. I expect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. All right, now I'm just going to double check that I have that I didn't just dump off all my gear. Okay, no, so I still have cloaks and robes. All I have is what I have on. All I have is what I have on, neckwear. All I have is what I have on. Okay, cool. All right, so this is 16. Neckwear is 16 offense. This is 15 offense, 16 defense, and 12 defense. Okay, so here's what we're gonna try to do. We are going to see what I can buy to upgrade. Plenty for your perusal today. All Take right. your time. Eye spectacles. Oh, I get up eight defense. Down, down. Does he not have anything that's going to bump me up? Offense. Okay. I'm going to buy these gloves. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad I promise. And then I'm going to buy these spectacles. I suspect you have a sharp eye okay. for fashion. So be let sure me to... check this now. I'm going to do my gear. Eyewear. Defense. Um, appearance. Change appearance. I'm going to make these in visible though what are you kidding me that's so badass we're gonna take them off right now because it looks most like me handwear all right we are gonna put those on oh look at you guys in the comments uh what Oh, these look badass. We're going to wear those. All right. You know what? I want to see what other outfits I can... My appearance package for the outfits. No, we're not going <laughs> to... Not going to go with that. We'll go with that. Traditional. All right. Okay. All right. Inventory. What is this? What do we got new in inventory? Uh, Arthur's map. 
Oh, yes, this. Um, confusing. All right, I think I bought everything I can bought here. I'm just going to double check again. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I think I've got everything. Look at that. That's just to sell. That's to buy. And I've got everything. I All right. You have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. What's in this bag? Do I search the bag? Quidditch goggles. Okay, so how do I... Am I not, I'm not I'm not supposed to just take them out of the bag, am I? All right. Anyhow. All right. Cool beans. Talk about a major upgrade. I don't think um I don't need beautification potions. All right, kids. <clears throat> Don't mind if I do. A little sip of tea. All right, let's get back to the mission. I am all kitted up. All right. Oh, uh, is that some field pages? Where are they? Somebody let me know. Somebody told me if I hear the charm. It's coming from this way. Ah, oh, there we are. Got it. This is a statue of Hufflepuff Hegginst of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade after having driven, been driven from his home by Muggle persecutors. So, Muggle persecutors. Rebellion. Oh, I heard more. Seems to be this way. No, it's this way. Right. No, it's to my left. To my right. To my left. To my right. This is driving me nuts. Ah, there it is. Thank goodness for the the way the headphones <laughs> let you hear sound to the right and left. Honeyduke's Guide Pages. Honeyduke's Sweet Shop sells a variety of magical sweets from fizzing whizbies to exploding bonbons. Customers would be wise to know precisely what effect they may experience before sampling this shop's wares. Rebellion. Jeez, there is a lot of field guide pages here, isn't there? Oh. Level two. Rebellion. Where is those field guide pages? I can hear it. Oh, just to my right. To my right a little bit more. To my left. Right in front of me. Oh. Rebellion. Oh, this is gonna drive me nuts. Where are those pages? Oh, where are you? All right, I'm giving this about two more seconds before I bail. <laughs> Okay. So. Uh, oh. Okay. It's got to be right in front of me. Oh, wait, 
What was that? Okay. You know what? I'm going to have an aneurysm here in about two seconds. I can hear it, but I can't see it. Now there's an, these field guide pages must be everywhere here. Okay, I'm going nuts. Are some of these field guide pages inside these places I can't get into? Rebellion. Am I supposed to be going behind this lady's counter? Okay, that doesn't seem like a good idea. There are field guide pages in the store? Wait, there it was. <laughs> Reflective. A proprietor, Miss Steeply's Taste. This tea shop is awash in colorful pink and frills. A cheery. Oh my gosh, guys. Rebellion. Okay, so the pages can be in the stores. How many of you had a good laugh at me? I wonder how many people are uh, sitting there just... Okay. That seems like it makes a little bit more sense. Some of the field guide pages are inside. Delicious sweets rumored by rumored to contain billywig stings are small sherbet balls that when consumed will levitate a few inches off the ground. Okay. Next. Oh boy. That was pretty awesome. Rebellion. Oh, there's more? In here? This is like the game of hot and cold, except I'm like... Oh, that's it. Oh. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm a pass. Just finding coins? Rebellion. It's off to my right. These treats explode when eaten. Although they are unlikely to cause injury, it is advised to chew carefully. Okay, field guide pages in Hogsmeade. <clears throat> oh, sorry, kids. Rebellion. Oh, I thought I heard something. Off to my right here. No, to my left. Ah, there it is. Oh, is this the one who's going to talk to me? Damn it. One of these cats is going to talk to me. Uh, Gladrags Wizardware, founded in 1750 and with locations in Paris, London, and Hogsmeade, Gladrags offers a variety of wizard garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate, Otto Dibble, happily help all those who wander into the shop, enjoying, in particular, the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most. So they like people who... Oh, is the other one right over here somewhere? Uh, just to my left. Oh, there it is. It's over to my left. To my right. 
I gotta go inside. Scope guide pages. A sneak scope is a type of dark detector and will spin, whistle, and light up when it detects someone untrustworthy nearby. It should be used with caution, however, as it will alert untrustworthy to the user's presence almost instantly. Golden trimmed school robe. Where is a golden trimmed school robe? What was that with a golden trimmed school robe? Did that Hello mean I have there. a chance to buy something Ready new? Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. No, I've got all the good stuff already. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by. Sure do. All right. Look at that. Got all the field guide pages here. Collections. What's this mean? 16... What are these? Okay, so this is when I haven't checked them out. Okay, what's new here? Cosmetic alterations applied to gear via change appearance. Okay. What's the one? Why is it not letting me? Oh, okay, because there's more to go down. A mermaid mask. I'm not that excited about that. And what is this? What do we have here? Oh, Revelio pages. Oh, this is just telling me what I already got. And I just go through those to get that off of my list of updates. Challenges. Okay, gear. What do I have here that I am not aware of? Face wear. Oh. Quidditch goggles. Defense up 40. What? Did I snag those out of dudes? <laughs> out of dudes back? All right. Look at that. Well, now wait a minute. If I got my Quidditch goggles, I can sell these bad boys. All right. Let's do that. Um, change appearance. I don't want to look like I have them on. But let's go back to dude's shop. What other gear updates do I have? Cloaks and robes. What's this one? Gold trim school robe. I can sell that one too. Alright, let's go dump off some stuff. Challenges. Exploration. Okay, the Merlin Trials, field guide pages, 15% done. Got all of them in Hogsmeade. Collect 15 field guide pages in Hogsmeade. What? I gotta collect more in Hogsmeade? There's more guide pages in Hogsmeade. There's 15 of them. All right, so I gotta go back to that shop because I'm gonna sell off some more gear. And then I'll probably go, then I'll go back. I know this is getting a little bit, getting a little bit much. All right, so I'm just gonna go sell off this gear real quick and then I'm gonna head back to Hogwarts for real this time. Before you ask, I'm all out of the new sock. So if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. All right, we're gonna sell. this and we're gonna sell these and then buy and I don't think there's anything again to buy that is going to up anything for me nope all right I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion Be sure to okay all right out. I think I am good this is what everybody had recommended I do so um 
I am all about playing the game, but I am also about um, Hogwarts map. Let's get back to Hogwarts. Uh, am I supposed to... Uh, let's... Flupo. All right, we'll go here. Travel. This flu powder travel is definitely, definitely worthwhile when you're uh, trying to make long trips. So, okay. So this is my next mission. I am going on. Um collections oh what's my new collection a top hat oh now I have a hat okay what's my new combat challenge defeat okay yep I'm aware of that one uh, I am just going to check my appearance here real quick and see if that hat. Oh, it's just an appearance package. Okay, never mind. All right. Let's get back to it. Quests. Herbology class. Okay. All right, back to it. It has been an educational, educational uh, quest so far today. That is for sure. Uh, am I supposed to be going? No. No, 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 down, down, down. There, I'll do that. So I know which way I'm going. I forgot I could do that. Somebody dropped that in the comments. They're like, just do that, then you won't. <laughs> You won't have any guesses on where to go. So this is a cool little feature of the game. Although, you know what? Rebellion. Oh. <clears throat> to my left. To my right. It's got to be down here somewhere. Well, I got to go down that way anyway. Okay. Apparently, I didn't do enough for Revelio. Revelio. Sounds like it's... No, it's to my left. No, it sounds like it's in front of me. No, it sounds like it's like... Okay, where is this? There it is. Central uh, ornate fountain features intricately carved statues of denizens of the magical world, including a set of stone sirens encircling the base. Okay. Rebellion. Gosh, there's how many field guide? Sounds like it's to my left a little. Oh, there it is. Field guide page. Statue of Gregory the Smarmy. This statue with an integrating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy, the wizard famous for inventing Gregory's Uncutus Unctum, a potion that makes a drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Sounds like a fun one. Rebellion. All right, now we are going to go back on my quest to where I need to go while still, this cannot possibly be as difficult as although I got to start looking for the chests again. Big shout out to everybody who commented that the chests are going to have stuff in them. Oh, there's another field guide page to my left. Rebellion. Probably down the stairs. And 
to my right. Right in front of me. To my left. There it is. Greenhouse tree. Situated at the center of Hogwarts greenhouse, this giant tree has a system of roots as deep reaching and convoluted as the school's dungeons. Wow. All right. Rebellion. Okay, here we go. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Class? Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. Oh, likewise. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacula than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Oh, these things. Let's I remember these make from our the movies. Friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> uh huh. We all know what mandrakes can do if we don't have our ear now, protection. Now, everyone. Grip the I can't the wait for this fire to Oh, so time. creepy in the movie. It was so creepy in the movie. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> he looks exhausted. Soil should envelop the root like a warm, <clears throat> dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Right. Repair it. That's much better. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. That's it. We just come in and... <laughs> now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new... Season. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Oh, that's fun. What does he have to say? I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. I would say so. That could have been... Could have been bad. I wonder if it, I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why the very well, idea? I suppose if you had ear protection and somebody else didn't, and you busted out a mandrake, that could probably be pretty damaging, huh? All right. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. And we'll just say we enjoyed it. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Oh, well, Plant that was awfully nice. Now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle away. Plant Dittany seeds at the potting table. Okay. I'm gonna head right this over here. Restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion. Uh. As you all should know from Didn't Professor Sharp's class. Select. 
Uh, add fertilizer. Okay. Uh, you can add fertilizer to this plant to increase its yield. You can create fertilizer by conjuring a dung composter. Um, how do I add fertilizer? Okay, uh, plant those seeds. Sounds good. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wigan Wealth Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. Okay. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're of in course. the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. All right. Come then. back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Okay. Meet Leander Pruitt. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Probably not going to wait for those. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. All right. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Oh, thank Excuse you. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. Rebellion. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. Thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. You know that, of course. Of course. Almost kind of not paying attention to him as I try to find these field Rebellion. guide pages. It's probably down the stairs somewhere. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Where is that? There it is. Durable plums. This orange radish-like fruit floats upside down as it grows. Some believe it can enhance one's ability to accept the un or the extraordinary. Go on, Ravelli. Oh, those cabbages. Just now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbage. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold LB and tap R to open the tool wheel and assign the Chinese copy. some of her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left oh, her honking daffodils right. in tatters. Okay, well that was bastards, interesting. Aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Um, we'll say that. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there, trolls and hogsmead and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Mm. Dogweed and death cap has more of them if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Interesting. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. Uh. I'll see you back in class. 
Let's collect some more of these things. I am going to collect as many as I can. Any more of those around? Because those look like they might come in useful. Rebellion. Anything else I can collect? Ugh. Rebellion. reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Ooh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Um, I don't care much for plants, honestly, or as am I. We're going to go with the top one. As am I. Plants offer so much. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Ah. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. All right, quest complete. Finish my herbology class. All right. LB. Okay. Well, that's new. Okay. All right, so that's a new thing for me, is this LB. New quest. Oh, we're gonna collect everything I can. All right, new quest. Inventory, what is new in my inventory? Okay. New Dittany leaves, new Knott's Grass Sprig. All right, new collections. <clears throat> What's this? Central Hall Fountain. I just don't like having these. Uh, I don't like having the the alerts up and not checking them. Okay. Yeah, these are all the field guide pages that I collected. Okay. New quests. One assignment, potions class. Oh, there's a lot going on here. A lot going on. Um, live as a student. Professor. Okay, uh, all live as a student. Successfully avoid enemy attacks. Sorry, I'm. It looks as if you're supposed to find Dragon Fountain. Find the landmark on Arthur's treasure map. Okay, we're gonna do the student stuff, I guess, and then go back and do the other stuff. I'm not sure if there's an order that I'm supposed to be going in. Um, Rebellion. Just gonna take the quests as they come. Look at me, just rebellion everywhere. I like jumping down the stairs. 
Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident Rebellion. at Hogsmeade. Quiet. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him completely incompetent. Oh, where was that? To my right. Right in front of me. There it is. Professor Sharp's Aura Batch. Or <clears throat> compromise the Ministry's magical law enforcement and protect the Wizarding World from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. The Aura Batch belongs to Professor Sharp. Rebellion. Okay, here we go. Begin my quest. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each Wait, of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. I thought I saw Slytherin on his jacket. Maybe you never I was know wrong. when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be there meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. And my hork lump juice. More hork lump juice. I stir my cauldron. There we go. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Resourceful. Come see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay, collect Ashwinder eggs and collect dark mongrel fur. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Mm, why do you want to know? Yes, but why does <coughs> that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. Mm. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We oh, he's a Weasley. Them. Listen, <clears throat> anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Uh... He's a Weasley. I'm not sure that's a good idea, or I can get you that feather. You know what? What's what fun is it to just be super behaved all the time? I'll get you the fruit <clears throat> As long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. 
Fruit feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. I mean, he's a Weasley. What can go wrong, right? Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wigan World Potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. Uh, pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wigan World Potion on their first try. Well done. Thank you, sir. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. All right. Which way am I? I'm already at my destination. Well, where am I going? I'm already at my destination. What does Fine she have to job say? job brewing your first Wiccan World potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. Well, that's very, very astute of you. I can't just be talking to everybody. I gotta, I gotta get some work done. Is this where I need to go? Ah, here we go. Uh, memorandum. 31st of December, 1875? Oh, it's the first I think I've seen of an actual date. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the first time I've seen a date. Morgan and Burke says an increased amount of activity outside ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we're adding more horrors to join those who have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the newest additions. More instructions to follow. Aha. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Ooh. How do I... Uh, I don't want to be taken, do I? <clears throat> down is in is that what that was supposed to mean like the X the downgrade isn't that's a down grade as far as my fooper feather and ash winter eggs all right I gotta find Precision Weasley is here potions. here's the fooper feather you wanted brilliant thank you Fingers this crossed, Weasley doesn't get me in trouble. You should get back to brewing your Aduras potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Oh, my first, it's my first purposeful mischief at Hogwarts. It's kind of exciting. Could you chop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. All right. Portion station. Missing ingredients. Pork lump juice. We'll do this. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm supposed to portion that enhance the drinker's defense by covering them with our durable rocky skin. Oh, that sounds like a good potion to brew. Nice. Aids in healing. Ah, oh, missing. Hork lump juice. Okay. So that's why we collect this stuff, is so we can and brew potions. Mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? So if I go LB, Wait, it's not I can. Okay, so when I'm battling, I can use this to attack people, but I can use this to defend myself. I see. 
and then Gareth! Not again. Oh, the smell. Dragon dung. What happened? Uh oh. <laughs> well done, Gareth. Rue and Edoras. What now, potion. Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Oh, we Mr. just lost Weasley points. Did not do this on his own. Uh oh. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Uh oh. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Uh oh, Weasley busted. Oh boy, I'm gonna admit. I'm sorry. I don't know what you mean. I'll admit my wrongdoing. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. Just In yet. addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. All right. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. All right. Quest complete. Potions class. All right. Now we are new quest available. Find the missing pages. Uh, we're going to go down and go in order. Professor Hecat's assignment number two. Expelleramus. Expelleramus. Oh, inventory. Let's take a look. New inventory. Okay. And ministry memorandum. Okay. New gear. Ah, yes. The new robe. Cell value. 90. Now we are not going to go down my offense. Uh, at all, so. All right. <clears throat> what collection did I get? New collections. Professor Sharp's Aura Badge and new ingredients. Mongrel Fur. Oh, I got other new ingredients. What else did I get? Ashwinder eggs. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at my challenges, maybe. Quests, combat. Oh, there's a lot of combat. Holy cow. Whoa. Oof. All right, expiration one percent. Oh, my gosh, are you kidding me? One percent. I've played this long. I mean, granted, I haven't played that long, but I played. How have I played? What are the first three about two hours each? You're telling me I've played six hours and I've completed 1% of the exploration? 1% in six hours? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Okay. All right. Wow, wow, wow. All right, but I suppose it says 6% total. Is that what it is? 6% of the challenges. So, 
I suppose. I've got 15% of the quest done, 17% of the field guide pages, so I shouldn't get too worked up. All right, we're going to get back to Professor Hecat's assignment. Okay. Now I have a new quest available. What's my new quest? The hunt for the missing pages. All right, I'm going to stick with Professor Hecat's assignment for right now. And you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go back, actually, and um, I think I'm going to do these in the order that that they're in. Because right now, um, Don't get too cookie -cookie right now it looks like the new ones are at the top and the old ones are at the bottom. So I'm getting behind myself a little bit. Rebellion. So that is the one thing I am going to do, is go back and continue the quest as they you know, go. There is such a oh. thing as trying too hard. Oh, there we go. Hey, you relax. <clears throat> so that's my new strategy, is to complete the quests in the order that they appear in front of me. I think I've gotten a little out of, a little out of order here. Um, with some of the new stuff. So I am going to start getting some of the older stuff done because I feel like maybe getting out of order is what's throwing off those percentages as far as what I've completed. Rebellion. And I can't forget along the way to be doing my rebellions. <clears throat> Field guide page. Map of Agroshire. This map depicts Agroshire, a region in Scotland which contains the Hebrides, a native home of Herbidian Black Dragon. Herbrides? Hebrides? Okay. Is there more field guide pages right here? Revelio. Like, where is that coming from? Nope. Bad music. No. Rebellion. through here. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. I thought I did this one already. Maybe this is a new practice session. Oh, this is practice too. Cast Accio, Incendio, and Levioso in a combo. Accio, Levioso. Okay. You'll get it. I see. Accio, keep trying. Accio, Incendio, and Levioso. Okay. Okay, back here. Incendio. There we go. That's it. <clears throat> I 
and a basic cast three times. Okay. Okay, I see what's going on. I see. Okay, so at the top, it's letting you know what you have to what you have to do. Okay, that's basic. Incendio, basic, 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 levioso, basic, 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 accio, incendio, basic, 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 basic. Okay. Impressive wand work. I think you face you in your duel. Couldn't have done it without Thanks, you. Lincoln. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before <laughs> challenging you again. <coughs> Even though you won the tournament already, <coughs> I'm glad to see you <coughs> haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. I will. We'll stay sharp. Okay, quest complete. Right, quest updated. All right, that's my second assignment. And now, um, collections. What do I have for collections? Is that a new field guide page? Oh, I think that's just updated my field guide pages. I see. I don't probably need to check this every time, do I? Nope, that's just my map of Argyleshire. Okay, quests. All right, cash in the castle. Okay, yep, so it uh, it's going to lead top down. Professor's assignment number two. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do the cash in the castle, um, and we are just going to, um, again, just go. No path available for open quest objectives. Wait a minute. Quests. Cash in the castle. In a courtyard. Looks as if I'm supposed to find a dragon fountain. The tree in the background makes me think a door behind it has been circled. Okay, so it's in the courtyard. Behind a dragon in a courtyard. These aren't dragons. Okay, behind a dragon in a courtyard. So does this mean I need to look at my map and find where the courtyard is? The Great Hall. The viaduct courtyard? Should we go there? Uh, I'm going to try that again. Set a waypoint for that courtyard. This is where I am. No, I want to go to the courtyard. Okay, so I set a waypoint. Now I can go to that courtyard. Maybe that's the courtyard it's in? So it looks like it's in a courtyard, so we'll go there. I should do Rebellion. Rebellion. Oh. I think this is the one that was given before. It's like right in front of me. What if I go this way a little? Cup students, listen to the art nope, we are about then I to don't hear it. 
Alright, hear it a little more. Hear it a little more. It seems like it's probably underneath me over here. Nope, it's up here. Oh, where is it? This is driving me nuts. Where is it? Normally I can tell in my headphones where it is. It feels like it's right here. Okay, I am about to lose. Oh, there it is. Jesus. No, no, no. It was right there. I thought it was right there. Ah. Uh. No, there it is. It's right there. Oh, no. That's the thing in the other room. I don't know where it is. Okay, I'm going to have an aneurysm here in two seconds. I cannot find it anywhere. Okay. All right, you know what? I'll come back for it. This is going to drive me insane. We'll get it later. Revelio. Somebody's probably screaming at their screen right now. I need to get another one to get my mood back up. That was driving me insane. Hey, kids. How's it going? All right. I hope this dragon's in this courtyard. It says it's a courtyard. Here's a courtyard. Do I see a dragon statue? Nope. Just hippogriffs. Kind of look like a hippogriff, at least. Rebellion. All right. Where are they? See, the thing is, in this castle, I feel like you get totally lost if you're just always just looking for field guide pages, right? Like, there's so many. I hear it over this way. No, it feels like it's right in front of me. There it is. Portrait of Sir... Cadigan. Sir Cadigan was allegedly friends with Merlin himself, and as such became a sworn knight of the Round Table. Wow, while he is only really known to the Wizarding World, he is famous for his defeat of Wyvern Y and now spends his days challenging students to duels. Well, that's pretty interesting. Revelio. Okay, here's a courtyard. What are these guys got going on? What is this? Nothing. Speak to nearly headless Nick. Rebellion. I'm actually right now. Blue flames trying to find a courtyard dragon. What 
Yes, you do. As magical as any spell. Why can't students? Revelio. Okay, off here to my right. Now it's to my left. It sounds like it's right in front of me. Now it sounds like it's off to my right. Oh, hey, it's my boy Weasley. Are you calling me, Gareth? I was. <clears throat> After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Where do you find time for this and your homework? <laughs> I've plenty of time for both. Been managing for years. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for oh my own boy. Bruise. Now I gotta go I on another mission? you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Uh, secret of passage course. right up my you alley. When you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant, thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Ah, uh, isn't this stealing? Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honey Dukes is more than enough, uh, and I only uh, need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed. Trust me. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. All right, just added I'm another sure quest, a sketchy one. one. Brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to go on a new quest. Here, I'm going to continue the quest I'm on. Can I cache in the castle? Okay, so this is the interesting thing about the quest is that it like keeps adding I quests. Which statue shouldn't be too hard to find? Uh, you there? Uh, yes, you. I wonder if you might uh, come with me. For you a... wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait. How do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Oh, Don't boy. Worry. Your secret's safe with me. Oh, no. Well, since this is, like, right in front of me, I'll follow him. I feel like there's so many quests I'm going on, it's, like, hard to keep up. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor Ah, uh, and favor here we go. A small favor. Hmm. A small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. Rotten I roast beef. beef. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form oh, I'm eating. cannot carry it. Oh boy. Now, 
If you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else oh, in I just get 38 coins from that chest. Nice. Wait, how do I take it? Did I take it? Is that what it was in it? I think I took it. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mm, I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. <laughs> a student oh. will in the kitchen. Students. What could be worse? Delicious food, and what found themselves a bit peckish, likely. Certainly you know makes rookies' job food. easier. <laughs> okay, I mean, okay. Delicious. How do I find the roast beef? <laughs> it smells glorious in here. Okay, so where do I know where the roast beef is? Alright, I'm over here drinking. Having some snacks. Having some fruit. Okay, basically you can just sit here and eat everything. How do I find hmm. the roast beef? Here's some beef, but it's hmm. not rotten. It's on 32. Better keep looking. Okay. Oh, little house elf. Hey, bud. It's like my boy Dobby. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. There it is. Getting close. <laughs> a student? What? what a treat! Look at this guy. What can Girl. Finky get for you? Finky? A bunch of pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but... What I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Aww. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Uh, I want to talk to, uh, Finky, so I'm gonna say you don't mind the students in here. Is it right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. Aww. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back anytime you please. Oh, well, of course, Finky. Uh, let's ask, are you restricted to certain foods? Are there foods? any restrictions as to what you can make here? Finky supposes not. However, Finky has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favorite, but the new fangled arbro smokies are becoming popular as well. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental oh. transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and, of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Okay, so food can't be made out of thin air, but it can be transported, which is interesting because, as we know, in some of the movies, the Wave of the Wand, and then the Great Hall has lots of food, but it's actually being transported and not created, which is an interesting point. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help. And to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Oh, I will. Lovely hair, Finky. There's nothing like a meal prepared by a house elf. Mm -mm. Shout out to Dobby, our favorite house elf. Hands in the comments. Hands up. Who cried when we lost Dobby? Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. 
Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind out for Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. I see. Uh, shall we? Um, you know what? I'm gonna go with. Is this dangerous? Is the headless hunt dangerous? Oh, the headless hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving headless ghosts. Um, we will ask, what will we do when we get there? What am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however. In no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Ah, uh, the roast beef wasn't I for you. I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is, uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Offering the beef to Patrick may help me in that regard. While, of course, also helping you. All right, Very let's well. go. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. What is this? Do stay behind me. It's a Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> oh, I forgot he's nearly headless Nick, not they totally headless, so oh, maybe oh, he's not allowed Once in all the headless activities. The headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. Oh, look at all the flies around the, the roast beef. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sir, you jest. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it... I give you my permission to speak with him, my young mortal. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift. See, this is the part I like about this game. It's like its own movie. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite... Yeah. <laughs> but, sir... Uh... Uh... We aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me. Getting denied again. Oh, hunt. no. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. He didn't get in. Didn't get in. Okay. Find the headless hunts The headsman could only see me now. This all seems weird. 
It's hoping for a little dueling, a little battling this uh, this go round, but maybe not. Who will be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins? Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. What? Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move their head to a different spot each time you find it. Okay, Those so now we get a little game. What say you? Uh, what are the rules? Please, could you explain the rules again? Find his head amongst the pumpkins five times. Use your wand. I cannot be more specific than that. Okay, what are my questions? How did you lose your head? You know what? I want to know how we lost his head. How did you happen to become a member of the Headless Hunt? I was executed alongside some fellow mutineers. We didn't like the way things were being run in our county, so we took matters into our own hands. Treason is such a strong word, but that's what we were found guilty of. Things would have turned out much better if they'd let me be in charge. I'm sure. All right, let's that's do this. What I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvelous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Five times. Begin! Cast away until you... And then I won't be the one to clean up this mess. Discovered already? Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide it, eh, Jackdaw? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. I found him once. That ghost said I should... I could do that too if I had a wand. What do I got? Just sit here and blast pumpkins left and right? Oh, come on. I'm then I would be the one to clean up this mess. Or I just gotta sit here and blast pumpkins? Oh, what fun! A stick is playing! What is this? How is this a game? I just literally just have to sit here and blast pumpkins until I find him. He's looking. You're sure to find him. I've never seen it played like this. Delightful. I don't know what I'm doing. There's got to be more strategy than this than just sitting here blasting pumpkins. I'm to clean up this mess. How many pumpkins are there? Are they over here? Or are they all just in this one area? This can't be serious. I just gotta sit here and blast pumpkins left and right. Okay, two out of five. This is ridiculous. I could do that too if I had a boss. I just gotta run around blasting these pumpkins. Destroy the pumpkins to find the head. Oh, 
Young Jackdaw's no match for you. Oh, come on. I've never seen it played like this. I'm delighted. This is a little tedious just sitting here blasting pumpkins. Where can I find Jackdaw's head? You'll have to play our game. Find him amongst the pumpkins five times and he's all yours. Those are the rules. What say you? Oh, please tell me I don't have to if start over. To do, no, 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 the game's not over until you find him five times. Are they going to make me start over? Okay, good. I could do that too if I had a wand. Yeah, Wait, I'm just going to sit here and blast. I'm literally just hitting... <laughs> hitting the trigger as fast as I can. <laughs> Just going nuts. Is this the strategy? Just go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, apparently it is a strategy. Just look at me. <laughs> Just going as fast as I can. <laughs> Just goes and focuses on the next pumpkin. I'm just working it here. Nope, I've never seen it played like this either. Okay. It's got to be one of these sooner or later, huh? Okay, this is good. I've destroyed a lot of pumpkins so far. Oh boy. Oh, maybe I gotta move around a little more. <laughs> that strategy wasn't working. Oh look, I got six coins. Hey. I got it. I believe congratulations are in order. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Door here. Hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. Uh -oh. The pages are likely still moldering away with my... Uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. Ooh, the pages like are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. Ugh. You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. Uh, how about what's in the cave? What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains? If I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? <sighs> uh, cut off your head. The cave cut off your head. I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, lightheaded. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, Ooh, but you can look of sort. Beware a light breeze. All right, let's go. Let's do it. So I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Oh, this sounds like fun.
That's got to be a new quest, right? To meet him at the forest edge. Okay. I need to learn the disarming charm before I can follow his ghost. Um, descending for sweets. Gold conjuration. Okay, I think I need to f finish he Professor Hecat's second assignment. And then I get the reward for Expelliarma. So let's, you know what, let's go and do this one. And then I think that'll probably wrap it up for today's, um, today's uh, part. Arthur's map. Collections. What did I get? Revelio pages. 23 of 150? Oh, okay. Alright, quests. I am going to do this assignment, and I think that is going to be it for today's. Um, today's journey. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. What the heck? Okay. Good thing I can climb. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Whoa, I got to go all the way over there. That doesn't look too bad. How far is this? Wait a minute, am I in hogs meat? Hey. Rebellion. I'm in hogs meat. I need to Rebellion. You know what? I want to get this mission done, but I got to find some flu powder and hogs meat cuz I do not want to be Running all the way back to Hogwarts. Although this is going pretty fast. Yeah, we'll be back in no time. I am going to go back to Hogwarts to get more pages, I guess. I guess that's one thing I'm curious about. Maybe you guys can help me out in the comments if there's not, if it's not a spoiler thing. But when it goes from like find eight pages in Hogsmeade and then find one of 15 pages in Hogsmeade, am I just sitting there like running around Hogsmeade looking for Revelio pages or after you get the, or looking for field guide pages or after you get like the one? I wonder. Or after you get the, the first set, like it starts over. I should have taken the, uh, I definitely should have taken the flu power, flu powder transport. Maybe here's one. Jackdaw's rest, but that's not where I'm going. No, 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 I want to be going to... 
Am I on the right quest? Oh, shoot. Am I on the right quest? No, track quest. Okay. Okay, never mind. We're on the right one. 195. Okay, we're getting pretty close. I was going to say, I was just making sure I wasn't tracking the wrong quest there. Oh, look at this guy. I should come back to this another time. Quests may have level or two requirements in order to activate them. Yeah, that's what I just said, right? That's what I was trying to check in on my quest, though, remember? That's the one. That's the one I'm supposed to be tracking. Perhaps I'll come back to this. Yeah, okay. So that's my question. It's, I thought, that's what I thought. As I was... Okay, so now I'm confused. Quests. This is the quest. Rewards. Successfully avoid Professor Hecat's assignments. My field guide will not guide me through this assignment. Successfully avoid enemy attacks. I see. Someone's going to regret trespassing. see what's going on here okay I have to perf all right we're gonna That's how I do it. RB. Okay, I can throw stuff at it. Oh. Okay, now I see the RB. Restart from last checkpoint. All right, we're going to. 
we're gonna get this uh we're gonna get this one done before I before I bail. What the hell? Damn you! You may want to move. Oh, this is a hell of a battle. Ah, this dog. Oh. All right, we're gonna have to think of a better strategy here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Okay, so my yellow, I can still be using my yellow. I see what's going on. Before I wasn't using my yellow because I thought I had to. Where are these? Okay, so that's the Protego against the dog, I see. Okay, and then the red, I gotta dodge. against the dogs. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. That's when I gotta use the. When I see the red, I gotta dodge it. Okay, so when it's purple, then I gotta use Accio. Oh, I gotta use Incendio more. That's what I gotta do. Are you kidding me? That's four out of ten. Oh my god. I know your face now. You start to rent me again. <sighs> That's not what they think I'll see around here. Seems I, get... I scared off the little puffs. Oh my god, I gotta defeat a bunch of those, ten of those enemy attacks. They come after me, they'll rest in ten graves. Oh my god, I gotta run around this woods and fight all these people. What's this? I thought I defeated five. Oh my goodness. Wait, what? So do I gotta run around and look for these enemies?
Hmm. Or was I supposed to dodge roll? Enemy. Successfully avoid enemy attacks by dodge rolling. Oh, shoot. Did I just defeat too many enemies? Revelio. Oh, no. I'm just raiding these guys' camp or what? Oh, was I supposed to... Oh. So basically, I was supposed to use more... I'm just running around collecting everything here. Money. What's this over here? Leaping toad stool. Okay. So this mission is locked still, so I don't know how to get that unlocked. I don't think I can do this now. Best to come back. Okay, so I think I am going to have to come back. Because it's locked. Oh, no. All right, well, I am pushing about two and a half hours of play. And I don't know how many more enemy attacks... I think I probably have to go on more side quests to get attacked more, if that seems right. I should have used more rolls. Hork lump juice. I think I needed hork lump juice for one of my potions. Oh, okay, so here's more enemies. Just want to go after the dog. Oh, geez. It's literally just by rolling out of the way. Okay, never mind. I can get the hell out of here. <laughs> so you're telling me these fights were completely unnecessary? Oh boy, these fights were unnecessary. <laughs> I didn't want to kill the dog. Oh. Ten a defense a against the dark arts class during the day. All right. Well, we're gonna run back there and just see what happens. I wonder if I have to wait until it's daytime. I can't believe I went through all that fighting and I literally just needed to dodge. <laughs> literally just needed to dodge the enemy attacks. Oh no, I thought I had to like wait for the red thing to come up and then and then dodge out of the way. Well, lesson learned. Well, this is interesting. So this is also something new that I'm kind of glad I ran into. Um, I have to attend class during the day, so it's nighttime here. And I am running around outside at night. And is I wonder if this is... You can't so, imagine how inconvenient travel was before. I, I wonder if this is so basically the amount of time that I'm playing, if it's rolling through hours in the game. Like if it's noon when I'm playing and then 
you know, I'm playing for six hours. If it goes to 6 p.m., I don't see like a running clock, but it feels like maybe that's what's happening here. Although when I played before and I was out with Nettie, um, it got dark just at night. So no, that can't be right. Okay, so maybe now that I did that, she's going to teach me Expelliarmus. This thing. All right, once I learn Expelliarmus, I think that's going to be a good, a really good spot to break um, for today. But... We'll see here. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sallow. He never backs down from a fight. We'll go up here. You can advance time by accessing the map and pressing R. Wait, what? Wait here to advance. Yes. Oh, okay. Look at that. All right. Look at that. Returned Professor Heat. I hope you were able to take care of everything I Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Oh shoot, I cut her off. Well oh, done. No. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Expelliarmus. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Oh. Complete. Okay. Well, I think that's a really good a really good spot to pause here for today. Um, now I can go back to Jackjaw and uh, figure out um, what I need to do in the forest, find out what happened to his body, get those pages. But this was a lot of fun, had a chance to explore Hogsmeade, it took everybody's advice on upgrading my gear, getting some defenses, use my um, Revelio a little bit more. Didn't explore the castle a whole lot, but had a chance to run around some. Um, took me a minute with Merlin's thing. But I was picking up a little bit, little bit after a break, so that took me a minute. But overall, this was a lot of fun. Um, definitely, uh, you know, some 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 hiccups there. I liked some of the, the the gameplay as far as the the story mode, and that's the one thing that I've said in previous episodes that I'll kind of repeat myself here. Is it feels like you're involved in like a new Potter movie if that makes sense. So for as much as I enjoy playing video games, this is like a whole new Potter world for me. We finally got a date. I believe it's at 1875. So obviously over a hundred years before um, when the movies took place, but this was another fun one. So I am going to, uh, I believe this is exit to the same main menu. How do I do that? Settings right here and save game and empty slave save save slot save slot slave slot slave slot save slot save game to new slot and that is going to be it so we are going to catch up 
on the next one and we will catch you guys back on the next part thank you so much for joining along and we will see all you guys later <laughs>